That's a weird opening. Anyway, greetings everybody, this is Skulkin91 aka Mr. Kirby 63 and welcome to Resident Evil Remake. Hey, hey, don't do that, hey, don't do that, I'm, I was in the middle of an intro. Right, but I got to do this, keep doing this, just so it does stop going there, yeah. Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Remake, arguably one of the best, if not, people say it's the best Resident Evil, which I don't blame them, this is fan freaking fantastic. So anyway, <laughs> right, so uh, let's just not keep the space anymore. Let's go let's go and start ourselves a new game. Resident Evil. Right, and what we've got here is literally the difficulty select. Right, this is I believe easy. In the PS4 version they actually, they actually added a very easy option. And this is normal, which is the one that we're gonna be do doing. And if you and if you know your Resident Evil, this is where you pick from two characters: Chris Redfield before he, uh, you know, b became jacked up, and and Jill Valentine before she became a brunette. Before she became blonde. <laughs> yeah, weird, yeah, there. Anyway, as for who or who am I going to pick between these two? I am going to say I'm probably going to pick Chris Redfield because I'm more familiar with his path than Jill. Well, even though they're taking the same path, it's just um. There's a, there are differences which I'll get to when we get to the game, which by the way we're gonna get to the intro, so shh. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. Damn it! Make for that mansion. Enter the survival horror. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. 
We don't know where Barry is. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Ooh, let's begin, shall we? Oh. Alright. Let's get to it. You know, standard tank controls. I still like I still like tank controls. I mean, am I the only one who like who loves tank controls? I mean it makes make, I mean it makes sense for them to add another control version into another you know, type of controls in the PS4 version, but hey, I still prefer good old tank controls. It's because it was mostly well built around them. Anyway, let's get going when we have a. Oh, hello. And let's get going. Right, this is on me. Don't fight it, because why? We got a knife. Knife is useless. As it always been. Except for in Code Veronica, maybe maybe past Resident Evil 4. But anyway, yeah. It's been, yeah, been a lot of freaking. Yeah. Didn't really get around to getting this game. Didn't really get around to playing like, this game until 2012, I want to say. I think that's what I bought. Start, you know, that's when I started, you know, buying stuff, collecting, you know what I mean? Oh. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Right. Seems like Wesker and Jill are gone. Oh, great. That's work. That's uh, not a good sign. Anyway, let's equip the uh, equip the pistol. By the way, okay. Now, first is first. The main one of the main differences is uh, of Chris and Jill is that Jill actually has more, you know, slots. While Chris only has six. But so yeah. So really, Jill has more of the slots. But there is one advantage that Chris has got. And I believe, and I'm not sure if this is true, but I think Chris actually has more health than Jill. And there's also one other thing, which is actually one of the, which is kind of also a big kind of improvement, you know, advantage over Jill. And there's an ink ribbon down there. I'm going to leave it there just in, just in case. You know, ink ribbons, you need them to save. Anyway, let's go back to where we came. And don't worry about the zombie because the zombie is over here. So we'll just leave we'll just leave him to it for now. We will have, we'll probably will have to take him out at some point. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's survival horror. So uh, you know, so pretty much like most Resident Evil games, you know, kill choose you know, choose your choose your kills wisely. As in, like you might need to think maybe you should start saving. You no, know, save the bullets. It's probably more important. Uh, yeah. We got some, we got a tape, but we can't use it yet so until we get to a certain point. But I, which I'll show, I'll show, which I'll show off. Right, oh, is there a, oh no, wait, is there a on this? Right, there's also another difference for Geo 2, which, like I said, we need to wait. Oh, hello, and they, in here is our uh, hanger bullets, not like the, uh, you know, red boxes in, in like, um, in like all the other Resident Evil games and the original, and then here we are. Got two green herbs right here. You know, here you now here we are. I won't come. I already. I already com I'll probably combine them. Actually, yeah, I should probably combine them just in case because I think I might need a might need a bit of room for what I need to pick up. 
Yeah, combine them. There you are. Mix green ads. Heals me. Heals, heals me a lot more effectively. And you see, there's a body. I don't think he's. Don't think he's got anything. So I'll just leave him. And then again, maybe I don't know. Maybe he's got handgun bullets that I don't know about. But yeah, this is a remake of one. And in my opinion, this is probably the best remake ever made. But that's just my opinion. But hey, but to me, it is the best. But we'll see when that when uh, you know was. When uh, that Resident Evil 2 remake comes out, oh hello! Right, I'll probably mix you in too because what well, we need to go is through there, and they got zombies in there, and I don't have anything to defend me with. Great, well, like defense it's called defensive items, so I need to be quick because what we need to do is come through here, what, and grab this arrow. And then we and then we leg it and uh, yeah this is this is technical this is pretty much telling you to, to examine things in this game that well only in this game that I've seen you need to examine a lot of items like I've already seen that happen in a couple of Resident Evil games only a few and I can see that zombie there you know I can see that mirror right, I'm gonna draw him out and I'm gonna weave around them. Yeah, and I always, I don't really tend to kill those zombies. I always just leave, I always just leave them because really, there's no point of killing them because they're not really in your way. Because <laughs> really, once I get the uh, arrow, I don't go through that way anymore. And same goes for the zombie down net down here. Don't even think about killing this one. Just leave them. He won't bother you. You know, unless you go in his way. But then again, it depends on the cam. It depends on the camera. I mean, if you can see him or not. But really, my best advice is if you come this way and you don't and you don't and you can't see the zombie hold on can't see the zombie do this it'll point you directly to the towards the zombie so you know which way he so you know which rail where it was on but here here is our knife which is our defensive items these are also different yeah so pretty much when it, i'll say i'll say when the zombie pretty much grabs you that's and you you automatically use your defensive items which will get them off you without hardly any damage i believe so what we need to do first is push this because he's got something important. Well, I, well, this is option. This, well, this right here is actually optional. In fact, the, both of the fact the gemstones are actually, besides one of them, is uh, completely optional. I right, just drop this, and I'm not going to be picking that. I'm not going to be picking that gemstone of gem gem stuff. Oh, great! Right, back. Let's go around. Well, since we're at it, examine. Right, what we now well, if we just examine this, the yeah, arrow looks like it can be removed. So let's remove it. And there you are. We'll be doing this actually quite soon. I'm at it. Man, this is great. Now, as I said, the defensive items are actually also different. I think for, for Chris, it's a knife and a grenade. And I think for Jill it's a knife and some sh some sort of sh it's some sort of shocks. The it's something that shocks the zombies. I it's been a while since I played as Jill, as Jill, so I don't exactly know the name at the top of my head. Yeah, this is a hidden door. I can tell you one thing though, definitely this definitely has better, better music than the original than the original original Resident Evil One on the PS One. You all know you know what you all know which song I'm talking about. That yeah, that trumpet one. Yeah. Who thought putting that in there in there was a good idea? But yes, this grave. Well, I should have probably showed you, but yeah, this grave is missing like the top of our head. So that's when you put that in there. And look at that secret passage. But now we have a real problem because I think I've attracted both of those zombies. So I'm gonna have to be careful how I go back up. I'm I'm gonna get grabs. I'm gonna get grabbed either way, so it doesn't really matter. So bye bye knife. And then that book of the book of curse. Alright. Let's have a look at it, shall we? No, I said oh, oh hello, we'll go here. Yes, I will take the key. Ah, very important key. It's a very, very important key. Well not exactly, only opens a few doors. Let's see book of the curses. Right. This is pretty much at at this point our main our main objective. 
I mean, the difference is that I find from looks of it four masks. Because if you look all the way over, all the way over here, four masks we need to find so we can, could you know, advance. All right now, let's turn to see if I can get out of here. But I'm, I'm gonna get grabbed. I'll tell you that right now. Just hoping I can grab up both of them. Okay. Okay, good. I got a pass. Where's the fat one? Oh, good. He's good. Oh, he's right there. Sweet. There is something. There is something down there that is uh, that we'll be getting later. But not right now. It's absolutely useless to us at the moment. Yeah. Also, let's examine this key, shall we? And you don't have to do this, but honestly, it's probably important. Here we are. A sword. This is yeah, near where we get now. It's called a sword key. Which so you can so you know which opens what's curves. For example, you can't. No, for example, this door right here can't open it because oh, we need some an emblem engraved of helmet. So this is a sword key. So that's not gonna work, isn't it? So let's go through here, which is not locked. But there is actually one area I can go to. And also, really importantly, something you need to get or you don't have to get. Right. Right, you can get a record here, so first just go over there, tap tap A. If you're playing the game you version, then if you're playing the game you version, the Xbox One version, I don't know. PC version, don't, don't really care. But play it play either way, it's a great game. I just if you see something showing up there, just gotta push this. This is this right here is completely optional. No, oh, what are you doing, Chris? Back, get back up there. Right, look at look, go forward. And it's and it's a very important map. You do not have to you do not have to get this, but uh, you know, but the thing is though, it's there, might as well get it. There is another map which there is another map which you get in a weird way, but once I pick it up more around it, and another knife which I am probably going to lose because of what's gonna happen in a minute. Go. That's what that's what happens when I you know, when this this has still got one because I don't kill that zombie no po no point once you're gone from this once you're gone from this room you know he'll just stay there and there's no point going in there anymore so let's go through here right mm, this is probably a very iconic room. But yeah, the first is to us push this. And we should look at ourselves, what we got here. Another knife! Uh, so we game we get, we lose one, we gain one. Yeah, creeping that's uh, that's not exactly scary at the moment, but most most importantly besides the knife, do this one. And holy smokes more bullets. Okay, enough. I haven't fired a single shot yet. That's gonna change. That's gonna change at some point. All right. All right. Oh, oh, okay. I just, oh, I just remembered. Right. Do I have room? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back there later. Right, oh, yes, there's a bathroom in here. Right, and there's and there's what we're here for, and this is what we're here for. Yeah, let's remove the plug. How can what could possibly go wrong, Shout. What could possibly go wrong?
quick, 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 quick. That's it. This is what we're here for. The, the old key. The, an old key. Right. Out. Out. Whew. Right. Here is also another big difference. Jill Valentine has a lock pick, so she doesn't need these old keys. Chris, on the other hand, needs these in order to open certain doors. Right, you can actually use this one right now for the door on the right, but due to the fact, look of how full I am, it's not really worth going there right now. I'll come back here. I'll come back here later. Right, and I can't go in there yet because uh, I need um, a specific item before I even think about going in there.